Do you really want more peers on your cards or would you rather go for attacks the raw attack on your cards Hey guys it's your boy we are back with more Mahul Feature Fight content bringing you guys a very interesting and very important video in my opinion for all of you guys shooting for those crafted stats the attack the peers basically the peers the new show go or the show stopper basically So we know Ever since the game launched, comic cards has been the best thing in the game. Of course, these are the most important things in the game. Ever since we got crafting the comic cards, specifically for the premium comic cards, crafted cards have become the best thing or probably the most important thing in the game. Even if you don't have uh, uh, really good builds on the characters, right? Apart from the CDPs, of course. So we try for this Pierce. Pierce is probably the best stat that you can get from these crafted stats. And we try to get all those blue stars trying spending crystals, spending money. A lot of you guys have done that. Most of you guys might already have 25% peers. Most of you guys are trying to get 25% peers or increasing your stats, right? Most people don't get lucky rolling blue all attack on the last stats. And that's all right. It's, it's a part of the game. It happens. Me, myself, cold resist, energy attack, energy attack, physical attack, energy, energy attack right now. So I had mind resist. I had changed this Luna card before. So I was actually very unlucky getting the physical attack on the cards. So now it gave me a really good chance to do this video showcasing if 22% peers that I had before changing my cards is better or this 19% peers with 9.5% extra physical attack better. Uh, because that is a big, big, big goof in my opinion. Like getting all blue stars cost you a lot of crystals because you have to lock all those stats as well. While you can basically get a random energy or physical attack stat by just rolling it randomly, right? So Makari is going to be the character that we will be testing it out. The first run will be with the 22% peers with the 64.4% physical attack on the cards. And the second run that I'm going to be showing you will be with the 19% peers and about, I think it's what, 74% uh, 74% uh, or something around around that, right? The same, the same, uh, around 10% extra physical attack and 3% less uh, peers on the cards. Let's go for the Makari build and then we'll jump on the runs and see the results, of course. So we have everything maxed out. The build seems and actually remains exactly the same. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 Odin's Blessings on Makari. Critical rate, all skills level 6, tap and max level. Doesn't matter, we will test her out, testing her out on null for more... Uh, more accurate damage. We have the same three star Makati artifact. We have the mighty CDP of energy with a beat down and a mythic uniform as well with these uniform options. And for the card stats, as I said, the first one will be 25% peers, 64% physical attack, and the third run will be with these exact, exact stats. I'll add the stamps in the runs so that you don't get confused. Let's go dive into the runs and let's see if is actually getting more peers really worth it. I need to work on my cards. The peers helped me, but it also is working against me right now. I know my physical attack sucks on my cards. I totally agree with that. Null's last phase is too hard, man. Like, I think Null gets some defense buff or something, I think, on the end. Right? time but that is okay let's see if we can do this because why couldn't mff just uh, make three also instead of experimental what 
Insta cancelable? <laughs> I'm not sure. They just maybe they just did not want people to you know use Makari to the best. Oh my God, no! S uh, gladly, gladly, Nightcaller did not struck this time. And now he does. Look at that. He started attacking. It was uh, I think what was his name? Dark Hawk that came around. Okay, nice. Swap skill. Look at that, now the proc is so late. If I had used the forward skill, the proc would be on time and I had missed proc. Stupid Nightcaller because of him, he strikes once more. Attacks once more, I should say. Getting the beautiful proc. Pretty awesome. No, no, no. I wanted to do the tier 3 skill rotation with the beatdown. Wow. Still, we were able to get this uh, un uh, until here, which is not bad at all. I was still trying not to die. Still trying not to die. Let's go. Let's go. And we are able to get him down to the 8th bar, which is not too shabby. Okay. Jump. Okay. That is the... No, not too shabby, not too shabby actually. Pretty nice. Okay, just did some nice chunk of damage, so half a bar with just the third skill. Okay, come on, charge the beat down, charge the beat down. Please don't miss the proc, please, this time. Yo, oh my god, late proc. Really late proc. What the heck is going on here? Very late proc here. Come on, Makari! Switch, 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 wave, we'll switch to wave. And clear this with 52 seconds to go. <laughs> now on to the second run. This is with the 19% pierce and uh, about 10% extra attack. Uh, 9.5 to be more precise. And you can see the first rotation did exactly the same damage as the 3% pierce. We were at the 35th, uh, 55th bar with 22% pierce and we are at the 55th bar with 3% uh, less pierce and 10% more attack. So at least for now and this is what i wanted to test out and actually talk about for uh, quite a long time now that uh, crafted stats are not exactly what they look like what they show on paper in the game and you might have heard of, uh, i'm not sure if you have but you might have talked to some people or if you have had anyone piloting your account or someone running someone's ABX, I myself have run ABX for me, actually my couple of my friends before in the past. And I was able to score the same with my account and their account having 30% extra attack on their cards. And with, the, with very similar builds actually. So I kind of still like... It just still uh, puts me back to the same thing. Is, the, is it really worth uh, getting for all those stats? Or maybe, you know, because no, not everyone actually can get blue all attacks, right? Not everyone can get 25% pierce with like crazy attack. You know, you have to either spend a lot of money or be like really lucky if you don't spend on the game. We are a quite quite a bit slow on this one, but of course we did miss the proc on those rotations. Probably because of that, we will not be able to do anything. Now, I should have gone with the transcend rotation, but I'll just wait and go with the transcend rotation here. So, a few times here, I did get caught up in the symbiote. So that counts uh, towards the damage loss or probably a time waste, I should say. Uh, would be a better idea to uh, talk about that. But still, you can see she's really putting out some crazy numbers here, at least for now. 
I will still uh, the last uh, results of this run definitely were shocking for sure for me at least. So I'll try to get him down to the 22nd bar without using the transcend skill, which we should be able to do here with the fifth skill. And there we go. 22nd bar. Pretty nice. Uh, not too shabby. And uh, we got the tier 3 skill, the transcend skill ready uh, for this one. So now the, the main uh, video for this purpose, uh, the main purpose for making this video is was to just uh, make sure that everyone gets to just see them with their own eyes because I have done this testing just like a few hours ago in the on the stream actually live and there were people and actually who saw and I saw the exact same thing that I'm saying right now crafted stats are not exactly what they look like and I don't know why uh, is the case but it is like that can't do anything but statly we have the tracer skill ready now transcend skill three cancel uh, six five this time we are actually a little bit closer to 13th bar that's why we were able to get it down to uh, the ninth bar while as the other one the other run was actually about 10th bar right so there is definitely run can be different you cannot have identical runs with the two both builds but this is with the exact same build and just a little bit of different cards of course the run also has its own rng but we should be taking him down to the seventh bar right here so 119 for the last seven bars now a few things here i was not able to use the third skill proc just like the previous run right there I tried, but did not work out. I had to swap to actually wave and waste some time. So yeah, we are basically about, we wasted about seven seconds of our time total. So switch to Makari, like you can see, it's very, very, uh, we are very late to switch to Makari. And this should have been very close to the same closer. We should have been gotten this stage done, but did not because of that. So could have been the exact same time. We're nearly done there. Come on, Makari, you can do this. Ah, just short. Dude. So as you saw, I literally don't really think, and this is shocking, okay? This is literally shocking. I went for 22% peers, thinking that my characters will actually perform a lot better in World Boss Legend, but because I was 10% extra, 10% less physical attack with the 22% peers, it's actually evening out. I don't know. So maybe it means that a 3% pierce on the cards is almost equivalent to about 10% of the raw attack on the cards. Now, I cannot say the same for energy attack because I did not try with energy attack, but this is the physical attack. So at least for physical attack, I can say 3% pierce is equivalent to 10% raw attack. And that is a big, like th that's definitely shocking. It's of course all good. You need, if you have both the peers and the attack, that will be even good. But it just feels like maybe somehow uh, the raw attack is having a little bit of precedence over the peers. Like 3% peers, when I changed my cards, I saw the difference in damage even when I lost attack. I have done that in the past before. But this time things are different. And when I got the chance to compare both of these things, the raw attack versus the peers, it seems like the raw attack 10% and the 3% peers are exactly the same. So maybe like, of course, 25% peers, if you have that, that is the best part. Definitely you can do that. But if you lose too much attack, like I lost 20% attack uh, during the last craft when I do, when I did so. So I actually lost a lot of physical attack on the cards. And now when I got 10% back, I was able to make up for the 3% peers that I got and that I just lost, right? So it's weird. It is shocking. And I think the dev should put more lights on the equivalency of these stats and which stats really you should be going for. Maybe 20% 20 uh, 20 peers or around that 19% peers with like a lot of attack would be the best way to go. If you cannot get 25% peers with all the good stats, because... 25% means all the blue stats on all of these cards, which can cost you a lot of crystals. And you can see, I still have to roll these energy attack rolls to get all attack. I don't have a single blue all attack. And that is the issue with the crafting. You don't know, it's totally random stats and you 
literally can get punished with the RNG. So maybe not trying to shooting for 25% peers, staying with about 19% peers, having good amount of physical and energy attack balance on the cards, probably about 70 or 80% phys uh, physical and about 100% energy attack would be the better way to go. Comparing to maybe about like 60% physical attack and actually going for 25% peers. Maybe, you know. So like there, it's a pretty nice and interesting topic to talk about. Like we can have conversation about this. We can have, we can have like different people opinions. So I would literally like to have some opinions about the other content creators as well. And the devs, if you're seeing this, please let us know more details about the peers and how it really works because we literally don't have any idea how the hell peers really actually works. And if uh, I would really be happy if Alex, uh, Seneca Alex, if, if actually does uh, put some light on this topic and that definitely is gonna be very, very important because it's, it's basically a lot of money, a lot of crystals and lot of uh, RNG rolling with these cards. So I hope this video was entertaining. I hope this video put up a really good uh, uh, topic of these crafted stats. And I really want to do a uh, crafted video more uh, about these stats. And I will be doing that in the future as well about some extra other topics as well. Let me know in the comment section what you think about the video. What you think about the results. Peers versus all attack. Which one do you support? I think the results were definitely shocking. So about 3% percent peers seems to be about 10% of attack equivalent. So let me know in the comment section what you think about the video. If you do enjoy the content, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Of course, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And as always, if you do enjoy the content, I hope to see you again. Take care. I'll see you all in the next one.